Hello guys, it's Lucas here and what I have for you today is our indoor station intercom and access control face recognition uh, working together. So you know the face recognition unit, it's a fully standalone unit so you don't need to have any controller for it, you just need to have your face enrolled to the system and that will open up your door. Um, you can also have a card or a PIN number. But what if you are not part of the system? Um, in that case, you need to have someone on site to open up the door for you via the software or maybe they use their face to open it. But there's a new feature on these units. Uh, you can actually use that unit to become your door station. So that unit can call up to four of these indoor stations. So it means this is an equivalent of a four button door station. Um, four indoor stations, so one at the reception, what, one at the warehouse or any other place around the building you like to call. Um, so let me actually show you how they work and, and how to set them up uh, and how this unit can become your also door station. So they can work at the same time. So it will still open up your uh, door with your face, uh, but also will, use, will be used as a door station at the same time. So let's go. All right, guys, so there's our setup, one-to-one -one indoor station on the right and our access control slash door station now on the left-hand side. So it still works as a face recognition and access control unit, fully standalone. You can still enroll person um, from the unit itself locally or via the software connected to the local network. Um, but if you have a visitor, you don't want to have them enrolled. They can always, instead of uh, approaching the unit with the card or the face, they can actually click the call button and actually call one of the indoor stations inside. So what we have here, uh, I have the reception program, so I can just click the reception button. That will call my reception unit. And I can answer the call. I can, of course, hang up. I can open up the door straight away. Uh, so I'm just gonna mute the microphone and answer the call. Once the call is answered, you can see I can talk to somebody, I can see the person, and I can open up the door. Uh, and then I can just close the call. So you can see it's very straightforward uh, setup. And um, I'm just gonna show you now how to get them connected. All right, guys, so to configure this setup, uh, we need our config tool. Like you can see in the config tool, we have our uh, indoor station, our door station slash access control. Um, but in the config tool, we only need to set up uh, our indoor station. So we're gonna go to configuration, to the VTH, and we're gonna log into our indoor station with whatever using password you have set up on that indoor station. So in the indoor station, the most important um, option is the SIP server because your access control, uh, door station, and become our SIP server. Uh, so now we just enter the uh, access control IP address. Um, we don't need to change any SIP register password, uh, leave it as the default. And then you just enter the user password of your device, of your door station, which is your access control. So there's a user and password of your device. Once you click OK, that's saved. And uh, next we'll go to the network ter terminals, in that place, you can change the name of that door station access control. And um, you just enter the uh, admin user and password and of course, IP address of this device. So you can have multiple of access control units connected to your indoor station if you like. So once this is done, we click save, that's saved, done and dusted. So for the indoor station, that's all the configuration you need. So now we just need to log into our uh, web browser to our access control. So you see our access control here. It's our unit ASI 3213 and um, it's on IP address 57. So that's what we're going to enter in our, in our web browser. So in the web browser, you just enter the user and password. And in the configuration of your door station, access control door station, we'll go to talkback uh, settings, local, in the local settings, like you see, I have four buttons and um, each one of them can be enabled or disabled. So if I would only have one indoor station, I can only tap this um, handset button. I don't, I don't need to actually click the ring button anymore. 
I just click the, 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 the handset button instead and that will automatically call my reception in this case. But if I have additional uh, buttons enabled, I can choose which one of the indoor stations will be, will be called. Um, so in this case, like you see here, I have my room number one called reception. I could have multiple different uh, rooms entered here, uh, number three and four, that's fine. Call them whatever you like, save those settings. Now we'll go to SIP server uh, settings. In the SIP server settings, you need to make sure that the SIP is enabled. So our door station access control become a SIP server. Uh, you click OK, that will reboot the unit. Once it comes back, um, you just go log in again and get into the room management settings. In the room management settings, you can add your rooms. So we can call it uh, like a reception. Give it a, a room number. And whatever password is of our indoor station. Click OK, that's fine. So now our room number, our reception, it's added to our uh, door station. So once we have this added in, if you go to status, we should have our indoor station listed and also our door station, and they're all gonna communicate with each other. So that's all you need to do at your access control to make them work and to get them talking to each other. So uh, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye.